This is some Abzan Company with a couple spicy slots. We have Mirror Entity in the main, which proved its worth last league um, in beating Grix's Shadow and doing some work against Is It Phoenix as well. Cool thing about Mirror Entity is for one man it makes all your creatures shapeshifters, which means Thing in the Ice will not flip them. And you can turn your Birds of Paradise into a 6 6 flyer. Also works really well with any creature that gets plus one, plus one counters. Ooh, I did just realize that it actually could work pretty poorly with uh, Kitchen Finks. Like if you have a Kitchen Finks with a Persist counter on it and you um, make all your creatures 1-1s, one Kitchen Finks is one dead boy. Uh, this hand is uniquely powerful. Um, I think I would keep this 6 without Cord. I'd even keep this 5 without these 2, so I'm going to keep this hand. Um, it, it follows my rule. I've got a turn 1 Accelerant, but it's a little awkward. It's a little awkward. I wouldn't mind facing Ad Nauseam. I think our matchup against him is pretty good. Their only real interaction is Fatal Push out of the board and um, an Echoing Truth main and maybe a Bantu side. I would love a 5-0. You know, I'd love a 4-1. 4 is pretty sweet. I think it's actually the money zone. 5-0 is obviously perfect, but I mean, 4-1 is like it's, it's a big difference between a 3-2 and a 4-1 league. A 3-2 league, you're like, alright, well, 60% win rate, I'm pretty happy with that. But a 4-1 is an 80% win rate, which is stellar. 5-0s almost feel like magic Christmas land, you know. Buddha Delta, I think our opponent's got to be another shadow opponent. They're choosing whether or not to shock the noble right now, I think. The issue that they have is they put a card, um, sorry, I was didn't announce, they scribe top. So... They did not want to uh, fetch that away. Polluted Delta Misty Rainforest, we're up against Sultai. Okay. Unfortunately, I have no turn to play, but if we're up against a grindy opponent, I mean, this is a pretty good grindy hand. Sultai. This could be Sultai Reclamation. I just want another land so I can start casting company. We're going to get punished for not running three Knight of Autumns inside. Infinite Life does not win here. Because they can mill us. I, I don't think that... I've played this deck. Um, I've streamed with... Not streamed, I've uh, recorded videos with this deck. I don't think it's any good. Um... So my lines here are Coco or Mirror Entity and Bird. I think I actually want to go Mirror Entity and Bird. Right? Because then I can next turn swing for... 12. Twelve is not 14, so that's not good enough. So I'm going to be doing Coco.
opponent's tapped out, I don't want to get remanded, so I'm just going to cast this now. So we have lethal if we get to untap. Oh. Opponent runs Fatal Push, I probably shouldn't F6 here. Yes, I'm eating a waffle like a barbarian. This is on my upkeep, so I can't actually win the ballista here. Yeah, I was thinking of that line. I'm getting Vizier here, and then I'm going to cord for something else. To try to win. Okay, three cards in hand. I think I want the land more than the scry. And I have lethal on the board right here. I don't need to combo, I just have lethal. By swinging for a lot next turn. That has shifted from trying to combo them out to just trying to use Mirror Entity as a value piece. Okay, so hopefully get another turn. They have two cards in hand, so either have it or they don't. So to go over what I did uh, a turn or so ago, um, this is going to be Snap Trophy? Yeah. All right. That push, it's fair. And they used Field of Ruin, so... So I can Eternal Witness, but I can't buy back the Mirror yet, so I think I just want to Druid. Swing, swing with Eternal Witness. And I can cord for two in case they kill Druid. <laughs> acid. It's always acid.
Turn one just is a good draw. Once we get infinite mana, it kind of wins us the game anyway. Okay, so we win. Just don't block. One's got no cards in hand. So right now it's still ginger ale. I'm just pouring the rest of it into the cup. You guys want to see something cool? No. Cool. Mirror entity for the win. We did not show our opponent Ballista. Um inciting. So Knight of Autumn is probably good here. Trophy is probably good here. Sin Collector is probably good here. Skews might be good. Um, and Eidolon of Rhetoric seems pretty good. It's not Traverse. Um, you left again and Indra wasn't in. So there was no, no votes for Traverse. I definitely want to stream Traverse when we can get all of you guys in there too. So the Finks combo is absolutely terrible here. Um, Scavenging Ooze seems okay with Snap. I don't know if it's really worth anything beyond that, though. And I don't know if I need two of them. I'm going to let the cat out. I'll be right back. So I've been impressed with um, Mirror Entity as a fair card. Um, I know we just combo killed there, but we represented Lethal previously in the board state with him just as a fair card. I'll keep this. I know it's not a fast combo hand, um, but it's just missing a druid. We do have a trophy for interaction. I'm gonna get the black source since I actually run less uh, lands for black. And um, this means I can't cast Vizier right away, but this way I can cast Trophy. I can still cast Vizier off Noble. I doubt he's gonna kill Noble too. I mean, killing a Noble seems kind of kind of silly. They're gonna Blood Moon me. Yeah. Too many people online keep Blood Moon in against uh, Birds of Paradise decks. So my line here is going to be play Bird. Swing for three, and then uh, next turn, Ewit back. Okay. Mirror into DB. I'm looking forward to that. That's awesome. This card seems uh, like the real deal. So I did side out the infinite life combo here because infinite life does not beat a deck with blue sun zenith.
Well, that kind of stinks. I think I buy back the trophy here. Yep, yeah, surgical, sure. You surgical my two of. I've activated their trap card. <laughs> I'm so bad at reminding you though. Alright, the light's getting a little bit better, I think. My hand's pretty bad. I'm probably going to ewit the Dusk Watch to start drawing cards. Best possible draw is obviously a Druid here. Uh, Cord will be fine. Coco will be fine. Yep. I think our opponent mistimed this. Oh, to choosing Cryptic. I think I'm choose Surgical on the target. Yeah, Cryptic's fine. Thought I was the only one who ran a Torrential Gear Hole Consultile of Reclamation. I think it's a good a good card for the deck because the deck doesn't often have a uh, clock. And oftentimes your snapcast during something costs four mana anyway, so at that point you might as well pay a six mana spell to get a bigger body. I think my route to victory here is Gavney Township. Sure. Take another turn. Yeah. Grizzled Daddy? Uh, sure. Sure. I guess I could cast them. But triple black, so I would need, um, or in two black lands, so I would need a bird out there, too. Seen a lot of mainboard uh, surgicals. Like last league, uh, is it Phoenix ran two mainboard surgicals? I always would have beaten them game one. I do like Grizzlebrand. Maybe if he costs seven mana instead of eight. An eight mana, seven, seven. He can pay seven life to draw seven cards. Just doesn't seem. Should be seven mana. Just for flavor. So, welcome everyone to this league. Yeah, I've been seeing, um, Kevin, I've been seeing one surgical main in Phoenix. This guy ran two, which was extra painful. He surgical the way the druid, which I was fine with because I knew I wasn't going to beat him with the druid anyway. And then he surgical the way uh, 
like a thanks or something on his buddy game Infinite Life, which is really pumped, really, really hurt. I oh, can keep this Goose Eidolon. It's a bit slow, but Eidolon can do some damage to them. I'm going to go turn 2, Eidolon, turn 3, Scoos. Yeah. And if they kill the Eidolon here with a Fatal Push, which it looks like they're about to, then just more food for Scoos. That all unstops a lot of what their deck's trying to do. Take that. Um, their board wipe costs five. Oh, right, right, right. <laughs> I got hurt with my own uh, idol on there. No reason not to eat their graveyard. They could run. Uh, I think they run Logic Knot. So Sure. All right, come back soon. I'll try not to turbo run through the league. Either have cryptic or they don't. And we have lethal on the board. <laughs> yeah, try forgetting my idol on. You know, I kind of like playing online better because you can't uh, you can't really do those types types of things. So, um, let's see. We didn't draw land, so I don't have lethal. We can put our opponent to one. That's not dead.
make it so they can't cast another fetch this game. It's probably all right there. Sure. You can go Ballista here, which doesn't represent lethal, or I can go Vizier Bird. I like Vizier Bird. And then um, get a little bit more damage in for next turn. Hey, how's it going, Jabski? Welcome to the Doom Train. If you follow, you get a cool welcome little picture. Let's get three cards in hand. Perfect. They don't know this, but we're representing lethal. I don't think they have a cryptic because they would have cast it there to counter the druid. Okay. Well, we no, we no longer have lethal. They're going to board wipe. Sure. Best possible draw is collected company here to refill the board. Otherwise, I'm dropping a 2 2 ballista. So far, our opponent's deck has had all of the answers. They just we need to dodge one good draw step from our opponent, otherwise we're representing lethal. Okay. Eternal Witness would be a pretty good draw. Company's even better. Question is, do I company now or later? Uh, opponent, I think, only runs one board wipe, but they run more cryptics. They only have one card in hand. I think I'm going to do it now. OK. Their one card in the hand was exactly Dispel. Oh, you gotta be kidding me, right? Alright, so I can cord for one, two, three, I can cord for two. Um, what does a cord for two give me? I don't think much. I think the line I wanna take. I think I'm just going to cord for like a scavenging ooze, which is exactly lethal. What did they draw here? Or are they just floating mana for nothing? They have one card in hand. If it's exactly... Okay. Best 
Best possible draw is probably an Eternal Witness buyback Ballista. Seed Rhino. Kevin, Seed Rhino would be a great draw right here. Fortunately, I'm not running that. Sure. Opponent's drawing hot. We're not. Luckily, we still have uh, untap, drop Vizier. If they don't draw anything, we can win just off of that. Okay. Gear Hulk. Cast down. Opponent bought themselves another draw step, but they drew a land. All right, good game. Yikes! Oh, and that is why um, I think this deck top decks okay because everything we top deck can actually deal a little bit of damage. All right. Absolutely love to play first here. Um, this hand breaks my traditional rules of turn one dork or druid, but I think it's actually fine. This is a finx draw. If my Coco hits a finx, this hand is very good. It also has plenty of mana, and uh, it's, got some, it's very good grind. If we're up against something like Tron, this is going to be an absolute um, poop show, and I'm going to get run over. If we're up against something like Jund, this hand will be pretty good. Could this be the mirror? What do you guys think? Get a free little cheeky swing here. No, not the mirror. Spirits? It's probably right. Well, spirits does fold to infinite life. See, the next land will tell us everything. Okay. I really wanted to, to play the mirror here. Uh, our opponent is playing a Mausoleum Wanderer, which means we don't have to worry about a Spell Queller at the moment. Natural draw, Kitchen Finks. Come on. Oh. This is a good matchup. Spirits is a pretty good matchup. Uh, it's much better than humans. Primarily because they don't have Reflector Mage. Okay. This means I'm going Shalai instead of Coco, because Coco is just going to get countered. I'm going to fall down to 11, go down to 10 after my fetch. Natural Draw Kitchen Finks. No? Okay.
Still our best possible draw would be a Kitchen Finks here. Like how Shalai is holding back a little bit of their um, their power. They have collected company mana up, spell queller mana up. Deputy to be a little rough here. Oh, they so they do. I mean, I thought they were just running um, reflectors in the side, to be honest, to help help them against like shadow and different things like that. This is a picture of the puppy. Quick little puppy screen time there. So put me down to one. Putting me down to one means that I cannot use this fetch land. They're going to counter this collected company, so it's not going to resolve anyway. Um, cord, I, so cord to be also countered. I don't see any point in blocking here. Okay, good to know. Um, so this is just game over because we did not draw it. I guess I can try to cast. Like to company and see what they do. But they let it. They let it resolve. I had a chance to win right there. Ah, we did not hit the thanks. Okay. So Knight of Autumn is okay here. Extra removal is okay. Scooze is bad. Plague Crafter is probably pretty bad. Um, we can try them potentially. And I love the paths. I take out two companies. I don't think Shalai is that great here, even though she's a flying blocker. Mirror Entity seems pretty sweet here. Yeah, opponent should not have, uh, they should have countered the company. That's why you always try it. Um, but we just didn't hit a thanks. At least I know that. They don't realize that they could have just been dead right there. Or rather, unable to kill me. Finks is not as valuable in this situation since he can't block. So. We'll run this. Now I'll keep a hand that can win turn two. Turn, sorry, turn three, sorry. Not turn two. Um, I do need to hit another land in order to do that. Because I'll need five mana off the cord. Okay, I don't need that anymore. I just need them to not kill Druid. If our opponent does not kill or interact with Devoted Druid, they are dead. Because even if they draw something like a Spell Queller, uh, we still have the path. Well, I guess I can't do double white next turn. Yep, Mausoleum Wanderer does nothing against Cord with the Eternal Witness. They're just dead. Uh, they're in for a Rude Awakening here, unless they have exactly Path to Exile. Okay, they have the path. Do I want the land? That's the question. I think I want the land more than the druid in the graveyard.
Yeah, Garrett. Um, wanted to. I was having a lot of fun with uh, Mirror Entity. Yep, opponents been. They've always had it this game. Um, Salt Eye Reclamation. I mean, we beat them, but they had three good draws in a row. One card in hand. It's exactly Dispel on our Coco. It's fine. Queller. Company. Okay. I'll make them sacrifice the Mausoleum Wanderer here. And they don't. Okay. They need a path or bust or a reflector mage. You are absolutely right, man. Yep, that's fine. They have a slow clock. Plus a land and I'm in pretty good shape. So next turn I can cord for Seer, uh, assuming they don't counter it with the Wanderer. Best possible draw would be a Greenland, or a Plains I guess for Path. So I can path the Wanderer before I try cording. Don't really care about that. If they attack with Reflector Mage I just uh, get to gain some life. So I'll go to 10 here, that's fine. So I'm going to take, I don't think I can cord right now, uh, opponent can, I can cord but I'm one short so opponent can just counter it, green, 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 one, I have two, I can pay two extra, yep, so my, my line is going to be play druid, cord, the wanderer, untap and win. I court I can't. I can't uh I can't cord and path. That's the problem. I don't have enough green to cord and path. Yeah, that's why I wanted to draw a, another land, either a basic plains or another green land. Okay, they have the Dispel anyway, so that kind of punishes us. So I think we're just dead in the air, right? Seven, yeah, we're just dead in the air. Need one more turn. Alright, fell to spirits. That was a little rough. Yeah, if we had one more uh, mana there, we could have won right there on the spot. I could have. It had to be a green or a white mana. 
Uh, or another green creature in play would have been fine. Uh, then, then I could have. Then I would, the problem is, cord costs three green, and I only had three green sources. And one of those sources was also my singleton white source. I'll keep this infinite mana. Just need an outlet for it. Yeah, they uh, great draws by the opponent, and they they played to their outs, except for the part where they um, tapped out when we could have game one. We didn't hit a fence. That's all we needed there, right? Um, game one, we saw like 20 cards in our deck. We didn't uh, didn't hit a fence. That's just bad variance. That's gonna happen. Turn one, mountain looting. I hope it's dredge or mono red phoenix. Those are fun matchups. Oh no, Spirits is a really good deck. I think it's really, I think it's still really well positioned. I just think that Thing in the Ice also happens to wreck that deck too. Um, so they pitched Gemstone Mines and a Mountain, which means to me this is probably more of a prison deck than anything else. So I'm going to play this so I can um, get a basic planes if I need it, in case they do a turn two Blood Moon on me. Yeah, I think this is Mono Red Prison. Yeah, yeah. We, we can do that. I wouldn't, I mean, I'd like to see it again. Did you catch, um, I don't think you were there for the first league where we played against Phoenix. Okay, red, white, red, white prison, it looks like. Lightning Helix or you are dead. Okay, Lightning Bolt or you are dead. It was really good. I mean, we lost in three. Um, I'll publish it soon, but I think the game one, our opponent had two surgicals, which really crushed us. The first surgical was fine, but the second surgical ended the game because uh, we were going for infinite life, and they got thanks. The first surgical took Druid, which I think was a, a mistake, uh, but the second one got thanks, which just ended the game. Okay, so opponent pitches Blood Moon. Okay. And we win. Thanks to Shalai. Okay, thank you, opponent. So, mono red, we want Knight of Autumns. Um, we didn't see any win conditions. I think we might want Sin Collector. Uh, Scoos might be on the out. And I might want Trophy. What don't I want? Um, Kitchen Finks, if they don't have attackers, is actually pretty weak. I think I'll run this. Sin Collector is good at grabbing Anger of the Gods. Maybe I'll run two. I think I'll run this. I don't think Kitchen Finks is super valuable in a um, Ensnaring Bridge deck. They're not going to pressure my life total. And um, Infinite Life doesn't always win in spots online where you think it should. Because it's not infinite. Hey, how's it going, Jabski? Going all right. We beat Sultai Reclamation. We fell to Spirits. Our opponent had every answer we could be looking for, which was a little painful, but it happens. Uh, this hand has plenty of mana, and it will not fold the Blood Moon. It's also got a Walking Ballista, which is really good against Prison Deck, so I will keep this hand. Yeah, Mirror Entity has been a pleasant surprise. In a, in a world where we have people mainboarding Gutshot, it seems, it's a little scary to tap out for it. But un, being able to... It, put, it gives you unique situations. Like, you can core... If you have board full of dorks late game, you can cord for three. Your opponent says, okay, you get a Mirror Entity, untap, and swing for 50. I didn't do no thanks. I uh, kept I kept the infinite life combo in. I just kept uh, one of each in. One seer, 
and uh, one Fynx. I think that's correct. I think it's correct to keep that access point in as a secondary win condition in case our opponent can't beat infinite life. Um, but it also helps just to have that nice little scry pattern to fall into sometimes. I also didn't see too much of my opponent's deck, so I also... I'm just going to say also 30 more times. Uh, opponent pitched Hazaret, and they're doing a Blood Moon, which is fine. We kept a hand that doesn't lose to Blood Moon. And because we're awesome, we um, have a turn 3 kill in our hand, as long as our opponent does not have Anger or any removal spell at the moment. Yeah, Mirror Entity has been pretty sweet. Um, that's fine. Opponent's stuck on two lands, right? So I'll play the bird out. Not attack. What do you mean it's just that easy? I mean, we've run a pretty fragile uh, game one combo. Alright, well we got rid of some bad draw steps here. And uh, Sync Collector can keep, our, keep us from getting angered here. Chalice, Karn, and Mountain. Okay, so that was a pretty big whiff. And I can cord for a Shalai here to as a spot removal protection. I could also Walking Ballista for one, two, three, which I don't think is big enough, so I'll save that. Let's keep the cord up for Shalai. You think I'm overcommitted? I mean, if I, I had the Sync Collector, I, I can. I'm not really worried about Anger, because if they have Anger, then they just wipe my board, and I just. Pew pew him away with a walking ballista. Uh, I think in a situation like this, we often have to overcommit anyway. This is not a deck that can play around Anger of the Gods. I think that's a mistake a lot of people make is they play around board wipes, and that just means that the decks that are designed to go over you, you're giving them time to go over you. If you force them to have Anger, well then at least you can try to redevelop your board after. But if they if they don't have Anger, you can just win. And I think that's more important. So, opponent is tapped out. Uh, mirror Entity wins me the game. There we go. And that's why you overcommit on the board. Uh, yeah, chats. So I think uh, this is working hours. I know a couple of the people right now are uh, are working and keeping this in on the background. Yep. I will keep this hand. Uh, I need to hit another land though. So this is not, unless I hit land, this is not a turn three kill because I cannot cord for two. Okay, perfect matchup. Um, or we just happen to get lucky and draw what we need and uh, say good game opponent unless you 
Well, that's fine. Yep. No conflagrate, we win. Once they have exactly lightning axe, it's kind of a, a rare little situation there. Yeah, um, catch it back up in the chat. Uh, yeah, prison decks generally, in my opinion, have bad hands. The whole point of their deck is that they have bad hands. When you run Simeon Spirit Guide and um, Rituals to pump out fast Blood Moons and Chalices, you're going to have bad hands because you just have so much air. Just like Druids every once in a while, we'll have bad, some bad hands because we just have a bunch of Mana Dorks. And one thing that I'm impressed with so far about Mirror Entity is that he can make your Mana Dork hand, like we saw last game, he can all of a sudden make that a, bo a winning board state. Oh yeah, there's a, there's a delay in that. I think it's like a minute or something. Okay, well opponent's dead. No blocks. Ow, ow. Opponent's at 20, so I need 40 mana. I get to the chat a little late because it's on a different monitor. Yeah, this is the W trick. I feel like it's faster. What do you guys think? Yeah, I could have, I, honestly, I could have courted for Mirror Entity right there. You know what also Mirror Entity is going to do? Mirror Entity is, I think, going to make for faster wins online, because it's actually less clicks. I can cord for Mirror Entity instead of going courting for Duskwatch, and then just uh, win that way. So we actually have Anna Fens in the board, so we actually have two two sides. We're going to take out Shalai and um, take a Seer. No. An Ewit. Be right back.
Did you guys hear that? Did you guys hear the cat? Uh, I'll keep this. Um, catch up. Opponents mulliganing, which is fine. Dredge mulligans really well. Kept six. Um, no, uh, Jabski path I think is actually terrible in this matchup it doesn't do anything this matchup is so good where uh, like what does path do path hits uh, three three that doesn't do anything that we want um, just doesn't do any it just doesn't do enough we can um, we, we pressure them or combos faster they have to respond react to a druid kill if they do that we can either kill them with scoos or finks so we're just in a really good spot overall on them. Well, the cat caught a mouse. That's, um... Ooh, Dark Blast is gonna be rough for us. Alright. Hit a land and I can drop a skews and probably win off of that. Best possible draw would be uh, two lands in a row off the top, to be honest. Path doesn't do anything against them. It's Path... They beat us. If they're gonna beat us, it's gonna be with Conflagrate. It's, um... Not gonna be with... They're just gonna get Dark Blast back and kill the bird. Um, they're not going to kill us with the creatures. That doesn't really do anything. We, we clogged the board pretty well on our own. Path doesn't stop and flagrate. Um, scavenging ooze does. Yeah, oh, catching up on chat. Yeah, Garrett uh, pointed out perfectly. So this might be one of the ra rare times when we actually lose the dredge, um, which does happen, even though we are favored here. Uh, they have Conflagrate with one card in hand. They'll have two cards in hand, so they'll be able to kill Skews if I just drop a Skews. So I'm actually just going to pass, because kill I'm killing Skews is pretty rough on us. If they bring back Life from the Loam uh, into a Conflagrate, I think we're kind of dead. I need to draw another land, uh, preferably a green land, so I can drop a Scavenge and use next turn. Yeah, so the cat caught a um, caught a mouse in the garage and is super super happy about it. Yep. I don't know why you'd play it. All right, so I think we're just dead here. If their opponent sees that they can kill the skews, we're just dead. I think a lot of people in modern sideboard incorrectly. Um, a lot of people over sideboard. I like, go oh, path is good because it exiles their creatures. That way they don't get them back. Sure, but we don't care about their creatures. Okay, so opponent's going to double. Um, They have to drop a land so then they can kill Skoos here. There's the land. Alright. Double Dark Blast Skoos. The old double Dark Blast trick. Still not dead. But we're getting pretty dead to a Conflagrate here. And that's too little too late. Okay. Same thing. Just uh, need to actually hit land. Still think keeping that hand was correct. The hand was extremely powerful. Um, Scavenging Use or Anafenza would have won the game on their own. Uh, unfortunately, Dark Blast ended the day early for our little X1 boys. I haven't had soda in a little bit, so it's kind of like a treat having some soda right now. Hey, 21 Gaunti, how's it going?
Cat's being very vocal right now. He's very happy he caught a mouse. I gave him a little bit of a dried chicken treat to cheer him up. You know what? Be right back. Grab him. Alright, say hi. No? I swear I taught him to talk, he just doesn't do it very often. Dark Blast is an instant. Yeah, <laughs> kitty. I don't know if I have the uh, thing there. Uh, this is a keepable hand. I get a um, probably an overgrown tomb off of this verdant. Untap, play a druid, and if I can, I'll just win off of that. Then we win. Uh, we're tied right now, going game three against Dredge on the play. So it's a pretty good spot. We have a decent hand. Opponent needs to pitch a conflagrate right now. They did not. And our hand is very good here. If they, even if they so if they kill Druid right now, um, I think if they'd had Dark Blast, okay, there's a Conflagrate. They need a second Red Source. There's a second Red Source, so they got Conflagrate on Druid. Yep, so they have the perfect line. Um, uh, unless I draw a way to win with infinite mana, I'm just going to drop Nine Defense the next turn. Um, catch up in the chat. So, Blade Man, <laughs> we, we're doing alright. Um, the Grid Man Assessment, Caveman Brain. Yeah, I mean, if we were trying to grind with Dredge, which even then I don't think is correct, I think they're just going to they're just gonna beat us with that anyway. Um, So uh, 21 Gaunti, I uh, trimmed the third Duskwatch Recruiter for Mirror Entity, and I trimmed the third Knight of Autumn for Anafenza. So our burn matchup is a little bit weaker. Um, yikes! I don't have all the stops here, but luckily our hand is still really good, and if we just draw Viscerous here, we can just kind of end the game quick. We have two Viziers, so I don't mind running them out. I'm hoping what my opponent does, I'm trying to trick them into Dark Blasting the Vizier instead of Double Dark Blasting the Druid, which they can't do anyway because they would need a second Black Land, but they picked up a Black Land. All right, so I'm gonna, I'm trying to, I'm hoping that my opponent, what they end up doing here is um, killing Vizier, and then I can untap with two draw steps thanks to the canopy. Okay, so they're correctly identifying that they need to kill the druid here. Sure. Which means the best possible draw for us is a Viscerous here, which will just win the game on the spot. This opponent has had all the removal, which is the only way Dredge really beats us. They have so far been able to kill um, two devoted druids and an Anafenza, so... If we don't draw a Seer, I hope we draw a Scooz to kind of make up for it.
They do only have 25 cards left in their deck, so that's also something to consider. I can't block with Fangs. I know. I don't know if my opponent knows that, but I know that. Um, I also don't know if I want to. Know, I don't know if I want to block with Hierarch here um, because Hierarch. All right. How much is this? Two, four, six, nine. There is a Conflagrate and a Loam. I'm not going to block with the Noble here because I want extra mana with the Horizon Canopy in case I need to get to give myself one more draw. No, if I draw exactly... Um, Cord or uh, Vizier, I can kind of win right here. Uh, this is here. I did side one. No, I didn't. I didn't side one. I didn't side any seers out. So seer is actually what I was digging for right there. Um, and we got it. So that is why I didn't block. The opponent has 12 cards left in their deck, so I don't even have to do that much. Uh, I don't want another thanks. We have 18 minutes o'clock, so we're fine. So... I hope you guys uh, liked the way I played that. Um, I counted the mana and realized I needed the noble. Um, that's why I didn't block with the noble, and that's why I didn't block with the fang. So it was the best out I had to win the game. Opponent does have a conflagrate and a couple draw steps, so I actually have to gain a decent amount of life here. So anyways, what's, what's up with you guys? Tell me uh, your favorite cards. Put your favorite cards in the chat. Okay. Conti, Blood Artist, yeah. Yeah, the Finks combo is way more clicking. I don't mind doing it because it's kind of brainless. Um, I actually hate doing the Druid clicks, to be honest. Hey, Andrew, welcome back. The matches were Shadow, Phoenix, 8 Whack, Jeskai, Humans, Sultai, Reclamation, Spirits, Red White Prison, Dredge. So far, Mirror Entity has been amazing. It's also pretty sweet as a faster win condition than the Ballista combo. You can cord for that instead of comboing, cording for um, Duskwatch Recruiter. Sounds good. I really like Gaunti too. I actually encouraged um, Kevin, I don't know if he's still on the stream, to play Gaunti, and he did. And I think he liked it. I actually didn't get to see the entire league he ran with it. Um, it would have helped him a lot against Grix's Shadow. I think there's some weird issue where he didn't uh, they, it didn't save his sideboarding. 
this league is going much better. I mean, the last league did hit some. We had plenty of outs. Um, our opponent. I don't like this matchup, though. We had plenty of outs uh, last league. Our opponent just happened to draw better than us, and that wins. Chosen type is plant. Uh, anyone know what's going on here? That's got to be a misclick, right? I like all three of those, although I don't like playing against any of them. Why would you pick plant? Alright, uh, we have plenty of live draws to just win the game right here. It's fine. And that's one of them. Easy peasy. I do really like Nissa Voice of Zendikar. I wish she was better in modern. I actually um, was building a scales deck with her in it. So you guys know what's about to happen, right? It's a mirror entity. That could have been a ballista kill, but I just really wanted it to be a mere entity kill to kind of chalk those up. Uh, Anna Fenz is great here. She's going to greatly improve this matchup. Um, uh, the Finx combo does nothing. It doesn't win. Uh, Shalai is interesting. Mirror Entity is interesting. Um, I actually really like Mirror, in Mirror Entity in this matchup, too, simply because it can not just protect your threats, but it can also make again the mana dwarf draw really good. Mm -hmm. When the two cocos out. I think I also want an e wit out. And Scooze does nothing here. Let's check to see if my uh the guide I wrote matches that. So off the top of my head, it was pretty darn close. Yep. Yeah, Throne's pretty mean. Still don't know why they said plant. I think I'm happy with this. This is hard in scales, but I don't know why he picked plant. I feel like that was just a punt, right? Um, turn two, Knight of Autumn seems pretty good here. Once our opponent has the nuts, I think we're okay. And even if they have the nuts and do a uh, seal over C or turn one, we're still able to stop that. Force the shock here. Yeah, Nissa Voice of Zendikar in scales I think is phenomenal. Um, I like it more than the Karn. Unfortunately, their mana base is pretty rough. Chosen type is Beast. I don't know what's going on here. 
Don't you pick construct? Like, isn't that just what you? Isn't that just what you're supposed to pick? So, I'll hold up path and uh, pass the turn. I ask. No, we don't have the win. It's fine though. Close. A little too early, Garrett. You jinxed me. Okay. So if they put everything on Ink Moth, I'm just going to blow Ink Moth up. Yeah, I'll take one poison. Check the land. That's interesting. Oh, they need green. Well, they have Mox Opal. Opponent's Hellbent. I don't know why they just didn't eat it on the Ravager. Uh, one of my better draws would be a Path Exile. I'm going to be blowing up Ravager with the Knight of Autumn, which prevents them from killing me with Ink Moth Nexus on my turn. Opponent Pithing Needles Druid. I don't really care about that, to be honest. Needle's annoying. Duskwatch Recruiter. My opponent didn't even see a Duskwatch Recruiter last game. I'm just going to float all of this to the Mimic. Notice they cannot put them on the Ink Moth Nexus, otherwise that would have been a bad line. I could have played Shalai, but Shalai would just be trading with the giant Ink Moth Nexus next turn. That's not good either. Now, swing for one. I have no interest in blocking their 5 4, and I can't block their Ink Moth. They're in top deck mode, and I think our board states are pretty equal here. Is anyone having an issue with a stream freezing? Yeah, this is just. Uh, a little bad here. I can cord for two. I can trophy. I can cord for druid. Um, play a visit cord for vizier, and then um, win with Shalai. Can't beat this many Ravagers though, fairly at least. Let's put me down to three, yeah, nothing. If they do anything, if they try to win right now, I'm going to trophy whatever they load up. If they do nothing, I will cord for Druid and then win next turn. <sighs> oh, I guess um, Arcbound Ravager is a beast, interestingly enough. Look at that, Artifact Creature Beast. Yep, 
Yep, two very, very good top decks. Um, when they were hellbent, they got two Ravagers off the, or, and the Dismember was pro, I'll have to look back at the Dismember was a top deck too. But 12 cards deep, they've had three Ravagers and probably not beating that. So I am dead here. Right. We're not the same list. This list is pretty good here. Um, I'll be on the play, which is immensely important in this matchup. I don't actually mind not having two Knight of Autumns in this matchup when I know I have Infenza, which is probably better. I'll keep this. It's a little slow, but it's pretty powerful. Turn three, Coco on the play is pretty good here. If they just have a giant walking ballista really early, I don't I think we'll just get run over. But otherwise I'm progressing my mana so that I have company mana next turn. Okay, uh, opponent kept a one lander. Uh, with that being the case, do I just play Druid here? Attack with Vizier. If they kill the Vizier, I won't play Druid. Sure. I think I have to play Druid here. My, my opponent had to have exactly a dismember there. And even now, I'm still pretty far ahead. So I can Ewit Druid. That's actually not a terrible line. Force him to have it again. pass and walk away with a turn 5 win here if my opponent does not have another removal spell or ballista. Even a ballista might not be enough, they'd have to kill the vizier and then have Coco to try to win. Even if, the, even if they do kill Druid, I still think I have enough mana with just a ballista in play to kind of take over this game. I can check, I'm not sure. 21 Gaunti, I'm not sure how many uh, ticks this cost. Okay, so they have the ballista. They can kill the Vizier. Yep, that's fine. Vizier for the win here. <laughs> and... Ah, uh, whiff. Whiff, whiff, whiff. Vizier for the win? Nope. We do have an Assassin's Trophy, which is kind of nice. We secretly can untap an uh, Assassin's Trophy or opponent thanks to green and black mana. Ballista right now would be pretty painful. Don't care about that.
<laughs> Garrett, um, he's just trolling me. You're always serious, Ron. So they're digging right here. <laughs> At least eight rounds. Okay, they're digging for. I mean, we're just we're just a vizier top deck away from winning this. An eternal witness, a cord, a vizier, Coco. Uh, Anathenans is a pretty good draw. One, two, three, four. Yep. Okay, so Pendlehaven stops my uh, cheeky Birds of Paradise attacks. And luckily they're drawing Hangerback Walkers and not Ballistas, otherwise this would be a much more difficult game. It's a pretty good draw, actually. Um, so I can swing with Anafenza on the ground. If they double block, be a five-five. I can township kill both, exile both. It seems like an okay line. Probably should have tapped Druid just to remove the counter. <laughs> if they're chump blocking with Ink Moth Nexus, I think I'm okay here. I mean, it got a little greedy with that attack.
Two item scales. Yep. We got it anyway, though, just thanks to Ballista. But um, I really was just forcing my opponent's hand to block there. It didn't, I don't think it mattered. And Offenzo was still going to exile everything. Got him. So that's the league. If I can type. You dropped one there, right? Yeah. So that's the league. Um, did much better that one. Hope you guys like it. I think the the, we, the thing we can walk away with here is that Mirror Entity is the real deal. It adds a lot of elements to the deck. It also makes the deck a little bit easier to play online. Um, there's a lot less clicking involved. So, Ron, I see you signing in to challenge me, but it's 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 been a four-hour stream. I'm going to actually be signing off now. <laughs> you have terrible, terrible timing, dude. Anafenza seemed great there. I think I... I'm going to keep testing her in that instead of that third Knight of Autumn spot. She has some cool utility here um, in matchups like this. You're here to tell me something. All right, well, you're, you're live on this chat. All right, I'll, I'll consider it. I'll consider it. Um... Open one chest? Sure, sure. You guys like the chests? I can open a chest. Worst drum roll of all time. Bam! Play points and two rares. One is a Parm Harmonicon and the other is a Mercurial Pretender or something. Looks like a clone and a uh, combo piece. Hundred and yeah, have hundred and six oak now, so got a bunch there. You guys can subscribe to me now. In fact, actually, if you have um, Amazon Prime, you can do Twitch Prime, and you can subscribe to me, and at no cost to you, you just have to resub each month. Just uh, you know, three clicks, and you can click, and you can support me and support my stream at no cost to you if you are an Amazon Prime member. You'd rather die than sub? Thanks, buddy. Thanks. It's a lot of chests. I don't know what to do with them. should probably sell them all. I don't know. If you guys, if you guys remember to uh, request, uh, if you guys remember to uh, request me opening one, I'll try to open one each, each league. Oh, thank you for the subscription. Um, over, overneath. Right, I'm always butchering your name. I think I said Obernath before, but Obernath. Um, thank you for the subscription. I appreciate that a lot. Um, just remember, once each month it uh, it drops out. So if you resub each month, I will thank you every single month for that for that subscription. Just make me earn it each month. You'll give me those thing in the ice for 90 chests. Depends what 90 chests. I think 90 chests is worth more. So I'll pass on that. Thanks, buddy. I appreciate. I, again, I, I really appreciate the subscriptions. It, it re. It's not even necessarily like uh, getting paid for it. Uh, it's certainly kind of nice. I mean, I make two dollars and fifty cents a month for each sub. It's really just a reminder that people like the content that I'm creating, like watching me. Um, it's been all the loft today. So um, something I want to do each stream going forward is uh, is tell a story at the end of each league. So it's something I'll start doing at the end of each sub. Uh, any of each um, each stream. Just feeling a little off today, feeling under the weather, so sorry if I'm not animated or anything like that. The Druid community stream number. Sure, sure, we can do that. I mean, I, I intend to be streaming uh, Devoted Druid. Uh, my goal is about 10 hours a week. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually publish these on YouTube, and then um, maybe later tonight or tomorrow I'm going to republish these again on Twitch. So anybody who didn't watch them on live can watch them there too. 
Oh, we can, yeah, we can probably do a, uh, Drew community stream. Oh, uh, instead of just the entire community stream, we could probably, I do want to stream more for the Discord community than just, um, Coco, uh, Abzan Company, but I'm, I could do some Nightfall, I'm gonna be doing some Abzan Traverse later, like I talked about, so, I would like to do more. I don't, I'm not really too familiar with the Vanifer decks. I actually think they're just kind of like a worse version of this. But maybe I'll do some of those if somebody has a good list. How many subs today? Alright, let's go back. Um, one. Two. Three. And we got some bits. And I got a follow. So, oh. Uh, Venix Storm. Sorry I missed your follow. Two hours ago. I'm super, super late. Uh, I'm going to have to have um, Ian come over and set this up so I actually get alert on my screen instead of just having to dig through the uh, dig through the entire thing. I really like Mirror Entity because it makes the um, it makes the deck attack with a kind of unfair element without being unfair. And uh, But what I mean by that is, I think I went over at the beginning of the first league, well, an open, just picture this open. Turn one, Noble High Arc. Uh, turn two, Devoted Druid and a Bird. Turn three, Mirror Entity and something. Doesn't matter what. I'm just not a Vizier because then you just win. Um, turn four, um, you can attack for 24. Because you can tap the Devoted Druid, get an extra mana, then put the minus one, minus one, untap, and you can attack with it. Devoted Druid in that case would be 1-1 one, one smaller than the rest of your creatures, but you can still do that. Yeah, Gideon is awesome. Um, I really enjoyed uh, that double Gideon emblem game we had earlier today. That was pretty sweet. I mean, Gideon is just an absolute beast. I think, I honestly think embleming him is usually the right play. So thanks for following me, guys. Thanks for watching. Um, I will be posting these again later. Please let me know in the comments what you think. And again, if you have Amazon Prime, please feel free and please be encouraged to uh, to help me out. It just takes a couple of clicks a month for you, and it helps me out and lets me know that I'm appreciated. So thanks, guys. I will uh, be seeing you soon.